is not the end of the road, Al. We have no food, no water. Morgan and Grace, is there something going on there? Grace, can you hear me? We need to get moving. Looks like you folks could use a hand. I'm not going to apologize for my methods. Call the kids to dinner! Welcome to Not Pro Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I am Josh. And today we're here to give our predictions for the upcoming episode of Fear the Walking Dead, episode 15, channel 5. Channel 5. Two episodes left of this season. It has been an up and down season. You guys know from watching our reviews. But hey, we're still in it. We're excited to see where it's going to lead to season 6 and this massive change that we're supposed to be getting. So yeah, we're yeah, ready. Absolutely. So... <laughs> What we're going to do here, ladies and gentlemen, like we always do, is give the synopsis for the episode and then uh, go over the pictures and uh, have a discussion. Yep. Let's do it. All right. Um, channel 5. When Virginia makes a statement, Al responds in kind, facing dire circumstances, June leads the search for a new place to call home. With Grace's condition worsening, ugh, Morgan makes a tough call. Yeah, so this one's pretty... I mean, not all uh, synopsis is going to give a lot of information away, but this one's kind of tough. Like, you know, what is, what statement is Virginia going to be making? And uh, stay tuned. We have another uh, video coming up on Virginia. But um, her, she makes a statement, and Al responds in kind, meaning she's taking her for her word. She's saying, okay, I'll go along with that, or we'll do that, or something to that effect, I imagine. So, yeah, I'm, I don't know what that's going to be, but um, I think from the trailer... There is something that's going to go down between them. I think there's going to be like between a little... Between Al and Virginia? Uh, not necessarily just Al and Virginia. Well, that, I just, from what I saw, was Virginia either talking to the group or maybe just Al and Morgan or something. Do you, do you think we'll Al has given up hope that this group is tied to CRM and Isabel? Do you think no. in the back of her mind, even though she heard the helicopter response, she still thinks no. that there's oh. some kind of connection? Yes. I still you think. answered my question right the first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I, I think she does. I think that she's... She's still searching for Isabel. And maybe that's why she responds in kind to what Virginia is requesting. Um, I, maybe. If I'm not mistaken, I thought I saw in the um, trailer for this episode something to do with the oil fields. Am I, am I wrong in saying that? I, I, think, there was I, think we get, I think we get back to Luciana or something. Yeah, maybe they show yeah. what's going on. Maybe something goes wrong in the oil fields. Maybe. Um, and it requires Al's attention. Um yeah. It's really interesting to see what happens there. Yeah. Um, but we know that June is looking for a place. Like mm -hmm. she's been, she's been saying that for a while. Um, we have a, we have one of the images that we'll go into. They're they're around a fire camp. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, they're camped out, right? And I'm yeah. guessing it's a nice moment. But I think the group, all of them actually, are beginning to realize, like, look, we cannot continue to do this in the long term. Especially since they only have one tanker of fuel given kindly by Virginia, but that's all they have. And once that runs out, they're out. Yeah. So they're not getting any more. You know, I'd almost like to see them abandon the helping each other aspect right now. The, bo I mean, the boxes? Yeah, yeah, because, like, look, like, there's not going to be any of that if your group isn't around anymore and doesn't survive. So, like, you, like Morgan said past season is, they have to take care of themselves here. Like, they have to do a little living on their own. And... Um, I think that our group really needs to establish some type of headquarters or base or, you know, safe house in order to... I say go back to the factory, even though Logan and his people kind of destroyed it a little bit. Go there. Clean it up like you did last time. There you go. What's wrong with the ball field? Well, I, we don't know how far away that is. But, true. You know. Uh, true. Very true. And we don't know how um, many walkers are still left in there if they're all burnt and if they're going to see Madison. <laughs> but, but but there are a lot of ball fields around. I mean, come oh, on. Sure. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. one of many of those. But yeah. um, do you think uh, um, Virginia's statement of we have many other settlements around, larger settlements, will play into this role? Will play into June wanting to find yeah, uh, you know, a safe place? Since Virginia mentioned it, that they have so many, I'm wondering if maybe Virginia is still trying to poke at them, saying, why don't you join us? You know, mm -hmm. We have a big community. We have what you want. Stability, walls, power, since we took all your fuel now. Uh, resources, guns, like she's probably going to do everything she can 
to get them to join and the group just doesn't want to because they've seen what happens when you use Virginia's terms when you're non-essential. What happens is that you die, <laughs> which is what happened to Logan. So I think that's probably what's going to fear them. They don't like the way that she's doing things, so it's they don't want that, to join It's her. crazy that they say that, too, because it's like Logan wasn't really non-essential. Logan happened to be in the same position that our group was. He was realizing the same damn thing. It just so happens that our group ran the oil fields. I think probably in, to Virginia's mind, Logan wasn't forceful enough. Like he you was know. just, you know, because Logan's that whole mentality was not doing things by force and, you know, being violent, that probably irked Virginia to say, all right, this took you too long to get. You didn't get it. You're done. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know what? I, yeah. I guess that just goes back to in the a Negan way, In a Negan way. That's how yeah. a lot of people are kind of uh, referring to Virginia as kind of a Negan type character in a way. Yeah. I guess I'm just going along the fact of like, I don't really know much about Virginia and their group, yeah. and it, they and they simply don't make any sense. Um, Stay tuned for our video. We got a cool video about Virginia and the yeah. group on, uh, coming up. Um, could Virginia's group run into some problems and need Al's help? Maybe. Um, I think that's probably more likely. Um, something happens where Virginia and her group, I think, need some assistance from Al, yeah. and I think that that's going to go a long way. Yeah. Um, we've already touched this before when we were going through the synopsis of the episodes. Uh, Grace's condition is worsening and Morgan makes a tough mm -hmm. call. Morgan is desperately going to try to get back to Grace and see her possibly for one last time. Where, you know, Josh and I have been kind of baffled about what is this tough call Morgan has to make. Is it tough call putting her down? Or, you know, we know that Morgan's going to be in the finale, so it's not like he's going to, you know, possibly die in this episode. No. But, I, you um, know, I, yeah. here's where I kind of see it. it. Might I, I think it might be three different ways. Something happens with Al and Virginia. I believe Morgan is there when that happens because he doesn't leave yet. And I think his tough call is, A, he has to separate from Al and leave Al behind with Virginia. Or, or B, he had... Or yes, or stay there. And yes. not get back to Grace. Or B, he has to put Grace down. <laughs> well, which would be absolutely terrifying I, and sad. I, yeah, I can get I get that piece, but I'll also take it to where he has to make a tough call, meaning he either stays with Al to whatever she's doing, or which then he doesn't get back to Grace, or he makes a tough call, leaving Al with whatever she's doing with Virginia and gets back to Grace. Yeah. So either one could be bad for the other. Or, it's, or there's so, another piece of this. Yeah. Um, is 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 Morgan's tough call simply telling Grace how he really feels. Because again, he's been con he's conflicted with that at least in the past and is he still does he still have that conflict? Like honestly, why am I going to have feelings for this person when this person isn't going to be around? I know that's kind of not fair to say. Um, but it kind of sucks that she's dying. Um I guess me personally, in my opinion, I don't think the tough call would be making a tough call to tell her how he feels because he already started doing that over the walkie-talkie. Didn't really tell her though. Well, he, in a way, he What'd wants he to. Well, not he didn't specifically tell her, but the fact that he's reaching out to her saying That's we need true. to talk yeah, isn't I, really I, a I tough mean, call. It, for I him. guess it was his epiphany, right? So, yeah. I yeah. mean, he. I, I think he's. You're right. I mean, I think he's fully on board with telling Grace that he cares. Uh, but I, I'm with you. I think that his his tough call is going to be okay. Uh, I need to go now, mm -hmm. um, or I'm not going to get to see. I'm her. not going to see her. Yeah, I think it's going to be like a race against the clock. Man, it's going to suck. I mean, you know, I hope hope that Grace kind of makes it out of the season. I love her character, and I hope that we can see more of her. But if it is her time, it could be. Um, I've been reading some comments where a lot of people were like, you know, radiation sickness shouldn't be. A, attacking you that quickly well i can't really opinionize myself to that i don't know how quickly it could come on depending on the level of exposure we're not going to get into it because we're not scientists well, we have no idea but i mean you there's, know there's there's not really so oh, i would imagine it would hit you pretty hard it, if it, it came on it hits you it depends yeah. on how again i'm no expert the levels it depends on the yeah. level of radiation now look she was a plant worker yeah she so was, she's going to have high levels she was of there, radiation and she kept going back and going back even though she was somewhat protected and, and but, actually yeah. radiation gets better before it gets worse yeah. um so there was a point where 
um, she was feeling better and and thought this wasn't going to hit, and then all of a sudden it hits. Like that's yeah. just how it works. Yeah. So we'll see, but hopefully she makes it out. If not, um, it's going to be sad, and especially sad for Morgan because he's going to be just heartbroken. Yeah. So as long I just want him to tell her how he feels to get that over with to relieve himself from the pain that he's been dealing with for years and just open himself up even even though unfortunately if she dies it, it's a big blow but it allows himself to kind of let go of the past yeah. and allow himself to feel for other well, people. Well yeah, people. I mean so, he's now saying, yeah. "Okay, I've actually cared for someone now again." So that that feeling is possible for me to do that. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Let's cool. get into some pictures, guys. We All open right. up with Tom, I believe. Tom is his yeah. name, yeah. Um, you made me have like a ding, ding, ding moment where the woman who they saved earlier could be his sister. We'll find out. Uh, uh, that'd be who awesome. Strand and Alicia are currently yeah. Uh, yeah. with. Because, again, yeah. she's running for fear of the people that she was just with. So, yeah. Yeah. it lines up perfectly. It lines up, yeah. Dwighty boy. Yeah. Sleek Dwighty boy. Interesting that he has said nothing in regards to Virginia's statements to him. Hey, Dwight, we can find Sherry for you. Well, we'll have to wait in this episode. We didn't have time last episode. Agreed. Yeah, I think maybe so. I think he's going to be pondering that. He's going to be wondering, just, do they really know where she is? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's going to be messing with him, which sucks. But for Josh and I, we do want closure on Sherry. Is she really done or... Not. Dude, it's like one of the most uh, more interesting aspects yeah. of the show is right. finding out if Dwight will ever bring Sherry, get Sherry back. And you can almost feel like AMC would cliffhang that. Mm -hmm. I just have a feeling, yeah. and that would be so shitty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so Daniel Salazar. <laughs> I'm going to say his name like that all the time. Love the guy. Love yeah, the dude. Man. Awesome character. Not much to go off there, guys. Yeah. Just standing there. Just cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do think he is in the camp. Yeah. Um, it looks like he's in the same vicinity as the rest of our group. And yeah. here is our convoy. Um, uh, all, all the kids. Annie, Max. All ready Dylan, to go. Dylan. Uh, Rabbi Jacob Kessner. Where did that truck come so, from? It's a badass truck. I don't know. I think they've had it, but yeah. Wow. Pretty sweet. So here's what we're talking about. Here's uh, June. There's a couple shots here. She's on the walkie-talkie, probably in contact. Maybe with Strand and Alicia have gotten back into radio contact. Um, maybe Alan Morgan. Don't know. But um, she's got maps in front of her, so she's still looking for places. Like, yeah, like, it's, like it's interesting. Like, is she – like, you got to think that – June being around the baseball field knows kind of like what she's looking for. Something that's already gated that they can simply just go into. Well, plus, like, she's been, before she got with our group, she was with she a was, group. Well, she was with the group, but not only that, she she always wanted to be on the move. So you would think a person like her, who always wanted to be on the move, never wanted to stay in a place too long, would remember some good places that maybe she came across. Yeah. Or... If they're, you know, fixer-uppers, whatever, but at least secure enough. Yeah. Let's we'll see. So, another one here. She's uh, mapping it out. Mapping man. it out. Looking stressed. Looking like, I need to find a place. Or, uh, she's yeah, with the convoy you. in the background, yeah. uh, obviously. Pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. yeah. But they're going to run out of gas soon, so. You know, I like that there there is a light there, too. So, you get the sense that she's probably been looking at this all at night. night. Yeah. All night, right? All night. So... Another cool shot, John and June, of course. You know what he is going through his mind is, let's just go back to my cabin. Yeah, I mean, come exactly. On. Let's just go. <laughs> I'll expand. You know, another shot here. I think I love this couple. I do. I do. I, I just think they they both understand each other very good. But I, you know, June is going through so much right now, and I, she just wants to find a place. John is in full support, but. Of course, he wants to do things the right way, and he's always going to encourage. But her, so. more importantly, John is like, yeah, he's with her, but he's also, you know, he's like, we, we gotta, we gotta protect ourselves too. Exactly. Like, I don't want yeah. anything to happen to you in looking for this place. Right. Exactly. Morgan. Mm. Um, so he's back with the compound with the group. He, I, I think he leaves Al. I really do. He leaves Al. Um, Daniel's back at the convoy. So we know, in my opinion, I believe, Grace or Daniel. Maybe they lose Grace at that outpost that Daniel's at, at that stop that Daniel's at, wherever they're at. I forgot where they're at. But yeah, does she make it back to the convoy? 
Yeah, we're not going to see it in the pictures. They won't give that away. I, yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah. I don't think she does. Yeah, I mean, that look right there, he looks... In thought. <laughs> in thought. Like he's, he's thinking about something, so we'll see. Well, let's see. I don't think I see her there. Nope, she's not there. No. Nope. Um, neither is Daniel. Neither is Daniel. Not that we can see. Yeah. yeah. So you, you, Unless maybe she's back and they're looking at her in an area where he's taking care of her. Dude, is that Strand? Yep, that's Strand. Sure. So, yeah. Strand. Our, our, our Strand and Alicia make it back. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So There's uh, West too. Yeah. There's West standing right Okay. There. So... Yeah. Uh, by then, we've we've according to our prediction, we we think that we'll find out that yes, Tom and this girl are related, and maybe they're seeing the reunion of Tom and and um, uh, his sister. Uh, I think that's her actually sitting right there. I can't tell though, but you could be right. Yeah, wouldn't that suck for uh, Morgan too? Mm -hmm. You know, he loses someone so special to him, but then he has to see someone else reunite. Yeah, uh, that's terrible, man. Yeah. Well, that's Al, and she might be at, she might be there because that, that looks that looks like, like she's there. That looks like a cover kind of tent overhang in the in the corner top right there, possibly. Huh. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, so, that's interesting. So then, uh, pioneers. Virginia's got a nice big smile on her face, and uh, yeah, so wipe that smile off of her face, man. I do not <laughs> like this character. I just do not. You know, it's it's she's very intriguing. It's just, I just need to know more, and um, we've gotten a little taste of you know. Once again, stay tuned for our other video. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll see how it all pans out. Yeah. So here's another cool night shot, Morgan. Here, not night shot. Yeah, night shot. No. Well, I mean, there's light. Yeah, there's light in there. That's just a dark building. Yeah. Just a dark shot. So just a dark shot. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I wonder what he's looking for. Yeah. Um, maybe something to help Grace out. Maybe. I love that shot right or there. Or not, because now John's with him. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I mean, that's just, uh, yeah, just looks really cool. cool. The dark solar um, I mean, they're at a stop. Um, uh, that, that's obviously the cleaning supplies in, in the back of the, wherever they're at. I mean, gosh, man. Maybe they've gotten another SOS call or whatever, and, you know. Or we'll at see. one point, you know, maybe the the entire surviving group finds out that Grace is in dire need, and they and multiple people are sent out to that one location. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then, just another cool shot of it's roamers, walkers. walkers, biters, eaters, infected eaters. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so. guys, uh, that was it. Not much off from that. Uh, again, uh, I hope that this episode is is better than the rest. Um, I fully expect for the next two episodes to be good. Yeah, I think I saw a comment in, uh, on our feed that uh, somebody who has AMC Premiere uh, was already, or no, somebody from who works, I think, probably for AMC or does a lot of uh, articles for him was able to actually see the episode and said that they uh, they said it's really different from what we've seen so far. It's it's a lot better than what the previous episodes have been. So I think. They're ramping up to what they really want to get done for this season. So uh, it just sucks that we good. all get it done in two episodes. Yeah. You know, and let, let's hope that, um, well, we'll see. I yeah. mean, it, it, I think it's going to be good. I hope that it's good. I think we definitely need something to springboard us into the next season. And hopefully these next two episodes do that. Yeah. So let us know your thoughts, guys, in the comments. Uh, let us know how you feel about this upcoming episode, the remainder two episodes of the season. And stay tuned for more Fear the Walking Dead news coming from us. Make sure you smash the like button. It does show your support and it does help the channel. And don't forget our live reaction to the season finale that we will be doing when that time comes. Obviously, we have a couple more videos for that, but stay tuned for that as well. Yeah, guys, if you're new here, make sure you smash the notification bell and subscribe and you'll always be notified when we're uploading content. Content and stay tuned for our review of episode 15 next week. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're not coronation. We're out.